What's going on, y'all? Been a month, been about a month since y'all got to see my pretty face, but uh, I'm out here back at it this weekend. Had a, some summertime shenanigans I was doing, but that's behind us. I'm out here with my buddy James, who is whooping up some breakfast. If y'all follow me on my other social media like Instagram or Snapchat, y'all know I'm not in Gibson, Georgia no more. I'm out here, what, Comer? Might as well say Comer. Yeah. Out here in Comer, Georgia. Uh, got to do a little rundown of the place last night. We actually got here at like eight. Beautiful, beautiful place. It's ran off of solar power though, so we're trying to conserve our energy until the sun comes up, but once it does later and we get back from the water, I'm gonna show y'all some of these mounts they got in here. I mean, they are beautiful, but for now, I'm about to fill my stomach up, get some coffee, throw the chest mount on, and we're gonna get out there on the water. Oh, and this place, it got uh, tested, do you remember who, who it was that did the testing in the pond? UGA. UGA, so the University of Georgia came out here. This was like a, there should be trophy bass out here because the guy that owns it when he, has been a very long time since he stocked it. Well, James, when they come out here fishing, they've been catching a lot of, you know, one and a half pounders and less way too many than they should be catching so UGA was like hey you need to call these guys out so this is our rule you know, was it we say two pounds over throwing them back yeah uh, 200 yeah two pounds and over two pounds and over we are gonna catch and release hopefully we get some trophies out here cuz James said he has seen some pigs so two pounds over we're throwing them back Anything less than that, we're going to flay him up. James said he's got this nasty dip recipe he can make. So, we're going to hook him up. Oh, you need a cup, don't you? Yeah, I get it. Just show me how you did it. You got to add water. Oh, well. So, what we got for breakfast, we got some Spam, some sunny side up eggs, and some tomato fresh out the garden out there. Show you guys. This is what a breakfast egg is supposed to look like. Oh yeah. That was delicious. So here's the cabin we're staying in. And look at that view, ladies and gentlemen. That is where we will be fishing. Down there. That's the dam side. There's a creek channel that runs through it, runs back in there, goes all the way back there. I'm about to strap on the chesty, take you guys out there. Wish me luck. Hopefully we about to, ain't no hopefully we about to catch a fish. I'm ready to get that feeling of that, that tug. So let's get out here and do some work. Oh baby, got a little mud on her. Oh no, I think uh, I'm going to start with, I'm going to take, take the whole this rig. Yeah, let's get some, let's get some softies. Yep. This is probably the difficult part about filming is if you don't have a cameraman you basically gotta do all this sh by yourself but so worth it to get you guys the good footage front door service front door service baby yes sir Since we're catching dinks, I'm gonna start with a whole stick bait. Oh, I'm skipping those. <laughs>
Right. <clears throat> See, that's the second thing about these stick baits. It takes them so long to sink. You're gonna kill me, man. I don't even have a lizard on there anymore. Look at that. Damn. The weight holds the head down like that, and I just I twitch it like a worm. Oh shit. Good one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, he might be hung up in a tree. Ah, he's hung up. Oh. Oh, he did he oh, come out? He's off. Oh. oh he's no. He's off. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he got hung up in that, that tree. That tree made me look like a pig. Man. <laughs> Look at this guy. I thought he was 10 pounds. Oh man. That's awesome. Fish. Oh, I thought we had something awesome on there. Uh, fish numero uno. There we go. Nope. You got any chartreuse worms? I was about to say, I might have to find something chartreuse. I've got. This is the last one of these. I think I think I got some chartreuse stuff in here. Oh, right behind us. I think that was brim. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, he's still on there. <laughs> I was about to say, I thought I seen him still on there. Nice. Come on, where are the real bass at? <laughs> That's what we were talking about right there, guys. Ate up. I gotta get rid of my goose egg. You didn't go? Got him right there oh, at the boat. Oh yeah, it, it's it's a decent one. Him in the oh yeah. Him in the oh yeah. Oh. That looks like a good fish. Come on. Come on, where are you going? Oh, oh. You need to chase him with the motor? No. <laughs> uh, hey, he's going to take us for a ride, buddy. Hell yeah. Oh. oh <laughs> nice. I switched to that chartreuse tail worm. There you go. Look at it. Look at him. Look at us go with the boat. <laughs> Come on, baby. I hope you got that thing tied well. <laughs> Uh, I just hope it don't break. Damn, break gum, he's got some fight. It's mono. Oh. oh well. Oh. Oh, oh, man. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to. All right. I'm breaking him. I'm breaking him. I'm going to fall out the damn boat. Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> oh man! Woo. That's why you came up here. Oh man! That's why you came up here. Dude! Jeez Louise! <laughs> oh, let me uh. First fish of the morning for me! Oh. Dang! Let me get a picture. I can't send it uh. to that. Woo! I want to make sure he's. Good to go before I completely let him go. Got them Google eyes. That's how you know it's a good fish. He's right off that point. Mm-hmm. Drop off. Uh, you got a scale? Mm-hmm. What do you think about? Oh yeah, I, I should have Yeah, he's probably he's probably five or six. Five thirteen, baby. Five thirteen. Oh, there she goes. <laughs> she said she didn't like that hook in the mouth. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, yeah. I don't know if I have a fish or not. I do. Got yep. Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Here we go. <laughs> Bank numero 10. <laughs> Got him. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a decent one. Oh, nope. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. A little bit better one. <laughs> oh, jeez. They feel good when they're down yeah. like that. They feel bigger down there. Got you that time. There's a little bass right there. I think that was a bass. 40, 41, 42. So all together, we probably hooked, hooked up with roughly 50, 50, 60 fish. Yeah. We got 42. Yeah. 17 pounds. Huh? Yeah. We only do it once a year. It, it hasn't even made a dent. No, nobody ever pulls them out. That's the problem. Now I do once a year and I get maybe 10. Damn. No, we let them go. Anything over two pounds, we let go. Damn, them pants are serious. Damn, I don't even feel like I was standing there very long. Did you get hit by ants? Bad. Damn. They're all in this stuff. But we hooked up with 50 plus fish in four hours. Yeah. Dang, that's a good morning. Wow, it felt good to be back out there on the water. Man, was it awesome being able to catch that six pounder. Well, just shy of six pounds, but we're gonna say a six pounder. Cause, <laughs> but uh, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like I said, I'm gonna give you a little tour of this cabin that I'm staying in, cause it's super nice. Check out that old zebra rug right there. As you guys can see, I'm in like a man cave of man caves. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video. Make sure you comment, like, and share. If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. We're about to grab lunch, take a little break, and get back out there on the water this afternoon. And that'll be for another day. See y'all.